Magic Lantern, which is a software that you can install on some Canon cameras, gives you a whole range of extra shooting features and useful things that make your life easier when filming video. Today, we're going to be looking at the bitrate option and seeing if it actually makes any difference to an older DSLR, specifically my Canon 650D. I'm going to be comparing the normal default bitrate that I'd have without Magic Lantern to a bitrate double the default. Technically, this isn't actually double the bitrate, it's double the bitrate limit. So because the bitrate is variable, that just means that the bitrate can go twice as high as before, but it won't necessarily. How many times can I say bitrate in one sentence? This should mean that there's less compression and so more detail, and who doesn't like more detail? This should also make the file sizes a bit larger too. So first up, we have a static shot. Can't see any difference. With a 200% crop, I can see a little bit of a difference in the compression artifacting, but that's probably going to disappear by the time it's uploaded to YouTube. Not exactly a groundbreaking result. I tried the test again, but this time moving the camera a bit. Still, no difference. My 650D is recording in H.264, and one of the weaknesses of that is shadow detail, so perhaps the double bitrate limit will improve the shadow detail. No, it, it didn't do that either. Maybe low light? Yeah, no, it didn't, didn't work either. Well, that was an interesting comparison. I think the problem here is that the 650D, the way it processes the video, it just can't make use of the higher bitrate. It has more data to work with, but it just can't use it. The way it's compressing the footage, it just takes out all the detail, no matter how big the file size is. I think it's mostly down to the processor and the way the video is being encoded, and there's not much Magic Lantern can really do about that. It certainly can't change the processor. Maybe it could put a newer codec in, but then would the processor be powerful enough to handle it? What I've learned from that is that there's not much to be gained from fiddling around with the bitrate in a DSLR like that. If you want better quality, Unfortunately, you need a new camera. Interestingly, the Canon C100 Mark II has a similar bitrate to the 650D. The C100 Mark II has a much better image, so that just goes to show how good the compression and encoding is and how much more efficient it is than the 650D and other DSLRs of that time. If you found this video useful, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing so as not to miss any new videos. See you later.